We heard you guys wanted to take a look around behind the scenes here at Smart Home Sounds. So without further ado, let's go. Hey guys, Louis here from Smart Home Sounds and we're finally showing you around here at SHS HQ. Now there are a few reasons we wanted to make this video. Obviously you guys have been asking for a tour and a look around and we think it's totally understandable to want to know a little bit more about a company that you might be considering buying from or are taking advice from right here on YouTube. Now Smart Home Sounds started with us being passionate customers who had a great love of entertainment who decided to take that passion and create a company that had everything we were looking for when buying new audio visual products. Now one key element of our company is having total transparency from our interactions as customer service advisors to written and video product reviews to the content on our website right to this video showing you behind the scenes at where we work. Now we're on our own journey of building a place which offers the best experience for buying both online and in person and it's a journey that we want to take you guys along too. Now we're always looking to improve and that's why we welcome any feedback on what you guys want when you're shopping. So these offices are really at the core of our brand and the heart of the SHS community that you guys are of course all a part of. Now we needed a creative space to create content, work collaboratively as a team, test products, provide great service for you guys and much more. So let's not keep you waiting any longer. I'm going to head up to our showroom where I've got Jonathan waiting to show you guys around. So as you can see then guys, what we've done is sort of split everything up into lifestyle zones. So it's designed to replicate how it would actually sound in your home. So here you can see Louis playing FIFA. He's, we're using uh, an OLED TV. Uh, we've got Sonos Arc, full cinema lounge here. So Sonos Arc, Sonos Sub, and Sonos One SLs. We've also got a ceiling speaker wall here as well. So if you guys are doing uh, ceiling speaker installs, maybe for an extension, you can come and listen to nine different pairs of ceiling speakers that we've got all hooked up to the Sonos amp. Um, and this is designed to actually sound exactly like how the speakers would sound in your room. So we've actually created sort of like a ceiling cabinet. We've also got the Sonos Faber Omnia, not to be confused with Sonos, completely different brand. We've also got the Marshall Stanmore and Audio Pro uh, C5 down there as well. And then here we've got a fully stocked kitchen so you guys can come down, relax. We can make you a coffee, cup of coffee on the house or a chilled drink from the refrigerator. And then over here we've got a sort of Samsung TV zone. So these will always be Samsung TVs, a large screen TV and Samsung the frame, amazing TV. And we've also got a couple of sound bars, a top of the range one and an entry level one, just so you guys can hear the difference between them. So here we've got a Sonos sort of snug area. So this is designed to replicate smaller rooms in your home that you might have. So we've got a smaller TV, a smaller Sonos soundbar, um, and we've got the full Sonos range here that you can try out. This is all powered by the Apple TV. So you guys can watch what you guys wanna watch. It won't just be in retail mode to show you all the flashy content. Uh, so it will be actually like what it is when you take it home. And then guys, here we have the TV zone. So we've got a few of our favorite uh, TVs. Um, these are all powered by the same input. So we can just plug in the same thing to all of the TVs. So it's really nice and easy to see where the differences lie between each model. And these models will always change depending on what is popular at the time, what's the new technology, etc. So if we turn around, we've also got our hi-fi and wireless speaker zone. So we've got speakers from Marshall, uh, Audio Engine, Bowers and Wilkins, Audio Pro. And then we've also got analog equipment as well because we love streaming as well as analog experiences. So we've got the full Riga system one where you can put on a vinyl of your choice uh, and see how that sounds in comparison to streaming. And then we've got our portable speaker section, great for the summer months. You can just come down Bluetooth, whatever music you wanna play uh, and see which one is right for you. And then over here, we've got our racing simulator. So Louis already on it. He pretty much lives here. Uh, <laughs> we've got our uh, team leaderboard here. So this is mainly comprised of all the staff, but also some customers are featured on here as well. There's also some big names that came here as well, like Mike Tindall, we've got Johnny May, uh, we've got Ollie Thorley, they are all here. Uh, they all scored a place on our leaderboard. And this is just an opportunity for you guys to come down, have an experience, uh, have some fun, uh, see if you can make it on our leaderboard. So guys, we're gonna head from our showroom through this fairly hidden door into our office. Hi guys, so I've been roped into showing you around. This is our SHS office. 
As you can see, it's a very similar design to what we've got over in the showroom and the studio. We've gone for quite an open plan style in here. So we've got different sections for different teams. We've got the um, customer service team over this side. We've got marketing over the other side. And then we've got some more kind of communal zones when people want to kind of work a bit more collaboratively. Uh, we've got some nice plants in here to liven the room up a little bit. And we've got these nice privacy screens for those who like to talk a bit too much as well. <laughs> If you just want to follow me in through this way, this is our kitchen and our break room, so it's where we kind of all eat lunch. We've got a nice big table here for that. On the wall, we've got a Sony TV and a Sonos Beam, uh, which is great if people want to watch videos when they're having their lunch, uh, but we also use it to review our own video content, so the videos that are going up on YouTube that week. Over here, on top of the microwave, we've got our YouTube clock, which is a nice way of reminding people we're on the way to 100K when you're uh, microwaving your lunch. Um, and then over here, I just want to point this one out, is at a glance looks just like a normal Space Invader poster, um, but we've actually got some key stats on here. So we've got 0909 2021 at the top, which is when our gaming YouTube channel launched. So if you're not subscribed to that yet, make sure you are. Um, and then over here, we've got 1406 2010, which is actually the day we officially launched Smart Home Sounds, another key date in here. Other than that, there's probably just some cool bits of tech I can point out in our office. So as you can see, we are an Apple office. Some people will hate that, um, but it works really well for us. We've also managed to actually upgrade a couple of our computers recently. So we've got the um, Apple Mac Studio over here, which Louis managed to get his hands on, haven't you, Lou? Yeah, so this is the new member of the editing team. So basically it helps us create better videos, much quicker time, and essentially just create great content for you guys. Other than that, we've just got a couple of Sonos One speakers dotted around the office in various places uh, for all of our music. Causes regular arguments, but Sonos works really well because everyone can kind of jump in and add songs to the queue whenever they feel like it. Right, so if we head into one of the offices over here, we've also got a Mac Studio screen, which is going down very well. But what I really wanted to point out was the desk in here, because this is slightly different from the desk we've got over there. Um, and this is a standing desk. Now, this has caused very split opinions in the office, so help us settle a debate. Let us know in the comments whether you would want to work on a standing desk. For now, we're just trialing this one. This is the Standing Desk Pro Series E7 from a brand called FlexiSpot, um, which came up a lot when we were looking for recommendations online. This one's good because it fits in with our office, but it's it's just got these little handy controls down the bottom corner where you can hire or lower the desk and it's got some great presets actually which let you choose your recommended or your preferred seating position and your preferred standing position. Lots of you guys have asked us where we get these panels from. These are from a company called the Wood Veneer Hub and they're actually acoustic panels. Uh, we've obviously designed ours to have a hidden door into our showroom. Over here, we've also got the new iPort Connect Pro, which we use to control our Sonos and the lighting, and you can wall mount it. I think you can get a desk stand for it, and we've got a stand next door in the showroom for it. Speaking of lighting, we use ray lighting in our offices as it's flicker free, which is great for filming. And it's also got no excess blue light. It's supposed to actually replicate daylight, which obviously gives you less headaches. Um, and it's just a nicer environment for everyone to be working in. So I think that's probably just about it for my office tour. I'm going to hand you back over to Louis. So we've seen the showroom, we've seen the office. Now let's go take a look at the studio. So this is where the magic happens. This is where all of the YouTube videos that you see on our channel are created. So first of all, we'll start down this end of the studio. You'll recognize this background from loads of YouTube videos recently. So down here, we've got our TV and our soundbar setups. So at the moment, we've got the A80J paired with the Bowers & Wilkins Panorama 3, but we swap those out all the time depending on we get new stuff in. And essentially, the whole point of this studio and this setup that we're trying to create here is to give you guys an idea of what these products will actually look like in your living rooms and in your lounges rather than just shooting b-roll on the table it gives you an idea of perspective in your home and that's the whole point of this room here so um, moving over this is really cool these are a couple of photos from barn on the farm that's a local festival here in gloucestershire it takes place every year we all go as part of a team as well for the weekend so really looking forward to that in a couple of weeks now over in the corner, we've got what's been termed the lightsaber light. This is a color changing uh, Peragos light tube so we can create loads of cool effects with that light. And I'm sure you guys, if you've seen any of our videos, you would have seen that light before. One other thing just to mention, if you look up, we've got some Sonos ceiling speakers as well. So we do spend a lot of time down here as a group watching films. We watched the Euros down here last year. We get everything connected up and it sounds absolutely incredible. When the new sound by the Panorama 3 came in, we all came down and watched June as a group and plenty of Mario Kart competitions and FIFA competitions take place right here in this very area. Now moving over to the more sort of technical side of things, um, we have got our bigger lighting setups and you guys will definitely recognize this backdrop, this brick backdrop here 
in uh, the majority of our videos. So just very quickly for people who are interested, we've got the Aperture 300D, that's our main key light for all of our videos. And then we've got a K8000 panel light as a bit of a fill light. But onto the main sort of tech that we use in pretty much all of our videos, this thing here, you guys would have seen this plenty of times. This is the binaural microphone. It records left and right channels. So basically that runs into the zoom recorder. And then what happens then? is uh, when we do the sound tests, we head into Premiere, pan one of them all the way left, the other all the way right, and it creates that really immersive sound. And it's the best way that we can give you guys a reliable sort of sound test through YouTube. Now this thing here is a Rhino Arc 2 slider, so that's how we get our really nice smooth B-roll. And then we've also got our Rode mic over here. So when me and Jonathan sit down and we do our more informal videos, we've got the laptop set up, we use the Rode mic, and it just makes things a little bit more casual and a little bit more talkative. That is pretty much everything in the studio, guys. So now let's head over and take a look at the gym. So this space was finalized around about a month or so ago. And beforehand, this used to be one of our warehouses. So we would be working out in between stock and it was all a little bit messy. So we're super lucky to have this brand new space where we can come down as a team maybe before work, during lunch or after work to get a workout in and work on our physical health. And that's something that our director is really passionate about, our physical health, our mental health, and of course the whole team building that comes along with it. So very quickly, I'll talk you through the equipment. We've got our dumbbell rack here, ranging from five kilos all the way up to 45. Now I've maxed those out already, so I'm currently waiting for the 60s. So that area, not really useful for me at the moment. Why do you actually try and pick one up? I'm actually gonna slip a disc, I reckon, trying to do this one-handed. Oh my God. Yeah, I was like waiting for the 60s. So, um, <laughs> it's so heavy. This is where I spend all of my time over here. Deadlifts, squats, bench presses, you name it. This is where you'll find me every morning and every evening. So individual machines that we've got in here, we've got the ski erg. And if anyone has ever used a ski erg before, you'll know they're good fun for about 10 seconds and then they just cause nothing but absolute pain and it's just how like using them. Now we did a team building competition using this very machine the other week. We had to row seven and a half thousand meters between four of us on this. And I'll overlay the aftermath of what happened with that. And needless to say, it was extremely painful and definitely something that I do not want to be a part of again. But involving that competition as well, we also used this box. So we did a hundred burpees over this box as well. Um, and if you want to make your workouts even more difficult, we've got a Bulldog gear which is extremely difficult to even pick up, let alone wear while she's doing a workout. And the final bit of kit, this is gonna be the next challenge that we do as a team. It's gonna involve this. This is the assault bike. Now I've been told this is even worse than the ski egg. So again, not really looking forward to that competition, but that really is the gym guys. And as I mentioned earlier, this is all about team bonding, team building, and also working on our physical and mental health. So really lucky to have this space. So there we go, guys. We're really pleased with how our SHS HQ has turned out. It's a great hub for the team to work together and deliver the best experience possible for you guys when shopping around online. Now, as I said at the start, any feedback or things you'd love to see, then please let us know in the comments. Now, I'll try and tag things that we mentioned in the video in the description, but please let us know in the comments if you're interested in anything that we missed. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed having a look around behind the scenes here at Smart Home Sounds and I'll catch you guys all next time.